agreed that I was the leader, meaning I pick what songs I did, and I could not agree that maybe we needed to change it up a bit. There was no give and take because everyone had to be in charge. And the band was better when I was in charge, and everyone says it now, but the fact that I was right is irrelevant. The fact that I was faced with, what are you going to do if everybody else wants equal say in this band? What are you going to do? And the answer was, I did go home and try to learn the song. <laughs> I, I did. I didn't fight about it until I couldn't do it. And then when I couldn't do it, I realized it was time to stop. And Please remember, I was a little kid, too. But this is human nature. The more we get closer to whatever the leader is, whatever the authority is in a situation, the more we lose sight of that said authority. And it is because we want that position. That doesn't mean... We want to be the pastor, we want to be the rock star, we want to be the president. No, we want the liberty of that position. We want the liberty to not be the one bossed around, but to be the one doing the bossing around. We want that liberty. We want to walk into a room and have the expectation be that we're the boss, that we're the bulldozer, that we're the alpha male and we win the pissing contest. And the source of that is not ambition, it's sin. It comes from sin. It comes from our sinful nature. It comes from the fall of man. And it has been a problem for God's people since the day that Abraham took that rock and circumcised Isaac. It's been a problem. Because we keep thinking, if we're the one that bangs the rock, man... No one's going to take the rock and bang it on us. And the problem is, is we have a much bigger rock to be concerned with. And that would be the rock that the builders rejected. The rock that is Christ. The rock that the Bible says that we either fall on because we trip over it, and we're laying on it begging for God's mercy. Or it falls on us and crushes us. Those are our options. We stumble onto Christ or he gets us. But either way, we are weeping because of that rock coming down on us. And that is the rock of the circumcision. That everyone thinks gives them so much power throughout the Bible history. They think it's that, but in reality, it is a much bigger rock that God was drawing attention to that circumcises our hearts. And it makes, and he makes in our heart an awareness that we need to abolish all commandments and concentrate on one. Because by concentrating on one, we accomplish everything else. And that commandment is love one another as ourselves. If we actually look at someone and say, what can I do for that person that I wish someone would do for me? If I were in that person's shoes, what would I need is the true answer to it. See, we look at people and say, well, I want... Um, I don't know, let's make up something so I don't accidentally say anything that's weird or hurtful that can come back to haunt me. Well, I want a zebra. Well, you don't want a zebra, but I want a zebra. And I love you the way I love myself, so damn it, you're going to have a zebra. Well, that makes sense. I don't need a zebra. And if you were in my shoes and you were in my place of need, you would not want a zebra either. Well, yes I would, because there's nothing in life that a zebra won't fix. Okay? That's scary. You know, that would be quite the soundbite. This guy thinks he speaks for God, and he just told humanity that there's nothing in life a zebra won't fix. Probably come off like a loon. I guess after the penis and the dick and the assholes, I'm fine with the zebra. <laughs> so, 
That having been said, <laughs> we have to put ourselves in other people's shoes. And I like yours the best, so I'll wear the shiny, sparkly shoes. But you know, we have to put ourselves in other people's shoes and say, what would I really need here? Well, we don't know. Who knows? God knows. And how is he going to tell us by his Holy Spirit? So we have to get before the Lord and say, how do I love this person? Meaning, not how do I get over the fact that they irritate me to no end and I can't stand their smell. No. It's how do I love them for you, God? How do I express your immediate love for them? The answer is, is by somehow, some way meeting a need. That makes them go, wow, wow, I really needed that. I really need, wow, I really needed that. <laughs> Thanks, I needed that. And uh, I just aged myself. And uh, <laughs> it's so hard to do this because in the end it comes down to we really have to hear the voice of God in our life. We really have to understand scripture. We really have to understand the nature of, of Jesus. And we really have to know how to move with and in the Holy Spirit and we have to uh, know how to keep ourselves in check when we're being big dicks. We have to know how to stop that behavior. Wow, I'm, I need to back it up a bit. I need to back it up. Leave the penile madness to the puppet guys. Let them wave it around. Let them do tricks. Let them do origami. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of weird. Get on Netflix. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> leave that to the people that want to make a career out of being dicks. And instead say, we have let that go. We are not fighting to prove we are the most circumcised one in the bunch we are the ones that are operating in humility and mercy and love. And that takes prayer and meditation and study and listening to God by his Holy Spirit and really praying for a spirit of empathy for others because that's how we fulfill the law and the prophets. We don't point out what the Bible says. Uh, did I just say that? Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I just said that the entire book of the Bible is the Bible that we use when we quote scripture for other people's edification. Well, that's not true. See, if Paul said, don't hammer people about the circumcision, why are we hammering other people about matters of the law? Why are we going into the law to make our points? Why are we all over Leviticus and Deuteronomy about people we don't understand? Why are we, all, why are we back there? We had to go all the way back there to find something, for one. Second off, why are we back there? Okay, well, I'm going to go up to uh, every single person on a platform that says, because it says in Deuteronomy, blah, 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 I'm going to walk right up to them and say, pull down your pants. Excuse me? Well, I need to see your penis. I need to see if you're circumcised. Because if you're going to quote that as law now, not law then. I get to see your dick. I need to know if you have the authority to do it. And if you happen to be one of them Gentiles that escape the scalpel, I brought a rock. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>